G'day there guys, Elfie here. Um, this tutorial is going to show you what I've learnt about custom texture packs over the last few days. Um, I'll do my best, but this is by no means like, um, going to cover everything there is to know about texture packs and how to make them and how to how to use them with Minecraft Edu. What I will show you first is where they actually go. So there's my Minecraft Edu directory. You go into server world, and in either the temp world if it's running, under MC Edu, you can have a textures.zip file, or if you would like to put it in a saved map, you can do it in, in the same spot, saved maps in the world name and an MC Edu, and it will be in there. And it will transport them back when you save it or bring them forward if you load it. So that's where they go. The second thing I'd like to explain to you is what the or how to get the textures out of a Minecraft Edu jar file, at least on a Mac. Um, I have heard that there is software that will do this on Windows um, and I'll tell you what that is when we get there but on a Mac you right click and open with something called better zip and that shows every file in that jar file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract them and I'm going to do it to my desktop and I'll put a new folder on there for um, what are we doing texture tutorial okay so I'll extract them all into there and it will extract extract all of those files out now I can get out of there and texture tutorial is just here so if I open up that it's put all of the files in there now all these developer files you can actually delete um, they, they're not a part of the texture pack and because the texture pack when you're using it with Minecraft Edu needs to be less than 2 meg you might as well just delete them all. Did that actually move? Yep, so it's actually moving them to trash. And now I'm left with just the um, image files that have to do with the texture pack. You can see them there. Um, oh, I didn't know font was in there. Uh, so there's some pretty cool stuff you can do in here. Um, one thing I will mention is you can actually edit, if you want, your teacher skin. So if you don't want your teacher skin to look like that, you can actually modify that and put it into the texture pack for students to, so that when they look at you in-game, you will look different. And if a st you have a student that makes a really good um, skin for their character and you want them to be able to access it, you can replace one of these files here in the mob directory. But the really important part is in this terrain PNG file, so I'm just going to zoom in on that. Let's go 800 times and I'll make it bigger. Alright, in this terrain PNG file, this is where all of the edu specific blocks the pictures for them are drawn from. Now if I open alongside that, I've got Simple Craft over here, and if I open up their Terrain PNG, you'll see that for this particular one, I'll only zoom in 400 on this one, you can see that where the Ender Eye is here, that these these images aren't there. So what we need to do, if we wanted them to show up in Simple Craft, would be to copy them from here into Simple Craft and then save this terrain PNG and zip it up and put it over there. So we're going to have a crack at that right now. Um, I haven't done this yet. I've modified a, a, a Minecraft Edu jar, and that's that's the point that I've I would like to raise right now. If you wanted to just modify some some particular ones. Um, not all of them or, or some of that or if you didn't want to use a, a custom texture pack but you wanted to make your own I would start with a Minecraft Edu Jar Terrain PNG base which is this one here so what I might do is I might zoom that back out to 400 times so they're the same size get them alongside each other and now let's see how we go now this is paintbrush this is a Mac version um, I don't know what other software you would use on a Mac but I'm pretty sure if I copy that and paste it. I can then, oops, I can then move it around. And if I put it in there, why didn't that work? Not there. So it's really quite tricky to do because the pixels, you're working with 16 pixels, so copy that 
maybe because it, yeah, that's why. So then I need that screen to be a little bit bigger to actually do this properly. That was the issue. So I need it to be in here. So I just drag that down and I lay it over there. And the other, t the other ones are these three. I don't know what this one is, um, nor do I know what these two textures here are. I assume they're edge specific, they may not be, um, but I will take these three blocks as well and um, put them in here also. And they go right beside the water. Oh, missed it. There. So now if I save this particular simple craft one and exit out of that and exit out of that, um, and I zip up the simple craft texture pack here. So if I just compress that, it's compressed it into archive, and now I'm going to put that into my world file. So server tool, Minecraft Edu Worlds. Uh, I'm going to go into temp world, MC Edu. Now this is my cells world, um, and I'm just going to copy that archive over into that directory there. I might keep that out here for now and just rename this one to textures.zip. Now when I load up that server, it will actually push that that uh, texture pack to me and it will be a, a combination of texture of simple craft texture pack and also it'll it'll have those edgy specific blocks in it. So I've just load last played world and I'll meet you guys in there now. Okay, so here we are in my cell. Um, with the simple craft texture pack on and you will see if I can put myself into creative the edge specific blocks are still in here so I, I've, I can still see what the edge specific blocks are and so will kids so that's the way to get a custom texture pack um, working um, with the edge specific blocks in it. It, it the easiest way as far as I'm concerned is to take the edge specific block textures and put them in to the, the texture pack terrain.png file. Now there is word that the developers are working on um, having the edges textures in a, in a different particular file um, but that might not be until the next release. So in the meantime if you want a custom texture pack and you need the kids to be able to see what the edges specific blocks are and, and things like that this is the way around it. Um, that's pretty much it. No it's not. I will show you how I've edited my texture pack. Um, I'll leave that server running. So I've got a texture pack here for my cell um, and I'll share with you some of the things I've learned while playing with this. I'm not going to edit it now. So this was uh, a Minecraft Edu terrain.png file to start with. I've done some customization for my own purposes. So you can see the edgy blocks are still in there. Um, I've modified some of the walls to look a bit different, so there's that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. The other thing I've done is I've modified the glass just because I like the clean glass look, but what I was trying to do is I wanted my cell to have jelly-like blocks. And the only block, and this is the interesting thing, the only block that you can actually have as a tinted see-through colour, so like a stained glass window, is ice, which is right here. So this is actually the ice block. So when I put this texture pack in to my server and join it, you will see that that comes up there. Now I'll show you something interesting if I can get my um, tools back up. Where's my tools there? So if I get something, let's say I want it to be a blue, and you'll see the op opacity here is 25%. If I just draw a bit of opacity on that glass just to show you like it's oh it's that opacity that determines where the light can pass through it and these checkerboard in the back means that that particular block is see-through however the way minecraft works with every other block that i've played with um, every other block is treated differently to ice ice has that ice will pick up on that opacity whereas every other block will not so I'll, I'll load up this texture pack i'll save that and i'll put that texture pack into into my um, cell world and you can go in and have a and we'll go in and have a look at it um, 
the other cool thing I've been doing, and you'll see, oh, I modified the netherrack texture too. Um, this in the normal texture pack is glowstone, so I've made that invisible, mostly invisible. I wanted a G there so I could see where I'd placed it. But before I put this in front of students, I'll actually remove that G and we'll have invisible light sources, um, which I think is a very cool way of lighting a map. Um, so I've saved that. Let's zip it all up. And we will take that archive, put it in here, delete the old run. This is how I've been doing it. And you can do this with the server running. It doesn't affect anything. Um, so it's not going to affect this. It only affects me when I, when I log into the server. So I'll log into the server and I'll come back to you. Okay, so here we are in my cell with my custom texture pack, or at least what I've done on my custom texture pack. There is still more work to be done. Um, I'll make it a bit lighter so you can see, because I think YouTube's quite dark. So you can see I've got glowstone sitting around, um, and you'll notice that it's always not touching any other block. It's floating in midair, and here's the reason why. If you make a block transparent, when you look through it, you can actually, it makes all the other blocks. So there is a block directly behind that, but I can actually see through all of those blocks. So that's why I sit it one further out and destroy that one, because then it still provides the light, but you can't see through it. Um, the way I'm using this, and I, th uh, I was so impressed with myself when I worked this out, is that, I don't know whether you guys are science, science people or not, but nucleus, the nuclear membrane, has pores in it. Um, so pores that things can get through, so little holes. So what I've done is I've customised two blocks here, one with a full texture and one with a hole in the texture, which you would have seen in the texture pack, and that creates this sort of effect where I've put that specific block there, you can see it there, and it creates a hole so you can see through it, um, which I think is awesome. Um, the same can be said for the my netherrack texture. It's got holes that go straight through it. Um, I just think that gives a really good look there. But as I was saying, this ice is the only block in the game that deals with opacity. If I get glass out now, you'll see what I mean. Oh, that's a glass plane. Let's get actual glass. I don't need monster spawners. So if I place some of this glass down, right, you'll notice that glass can be transparent and it won't, it won't see through the rest but that that blue squiggle was that opaque line that I put down at 25% but you can see that it's actually a solid color um, and the interesting thing there is that as I said ice is the only block that seems to deal with opacity in that way all the other ones I've messed around with don't everything makes that a solid color um, I was looking at the uh, stained glass mold or the extra glass mold or something like that, but I don't think that there is a way I can get that working with an edu server. At least not. I'm not willing to put the time in to learn just yet. Um, maybe another day. So that's pretty much it with texture packs. Um, you just modify in the terrain.png. I'll jump out and show you again. Um, so here's my texture pack in here. If you want to adjust blocks, they're all in this terrain.png file. Um, that's that's where all the textures come from um, and you can adjust skins and things like that so it's these that you need the title screens and terrain and all that sort of stuff is what you need um, and like I say if you want to edit student skins or teacher skins you can actually do that in here so I think I modified mine to to have blue eyes and no glasses um, just that was just to mess around with but yeah, you can change all of these student skins for personal skins if you would like, and they will actually be pushed back. I will note that that um, they won't show up in the preview. So when students log in and get to choose their skin, the custom skins won't show up in the preview. They'll have to know which one it is, um, which one you've overwritten and then they will look different once they log into the server because that texture pack will get sent to the to the client that way. Uh, that's pretty much it from me for this video. Um, hopefully Minecraft videos will come a bit more often now. I'm about to continue recording and do a, a bit of a, a pat on my own back with that cell. I think it looks 
absolutely amazing and I've come up with some really good ideas I'd like to share with you guys before I implement them into the cell and, and explain to you how I'm going to use that with students. Um, but hopefully these videos will become a little bit more regular. I know that, um, and I appreciate all of those of you who have put up with the um, several maths videos going up at the one time and, and getting all over your sub subscription box and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully now that'll calm down and um, I'll intersperse those maths videos because I finally I'm ahead of the kids now so I'll record some of those and and sort of spread them out uploading them out so that they're not all barraging you all at one time and they'll they'll hopefully come a little bit slower and interspersed with Minecraft videos uh, as always thanks for taking the time to watch and leave a like if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already thanks guys